Today we are going to demonstrate how to multiply integers together. The first thing that you have to do is just multiply the absolute values of the numbers together. So for 5 times negative 6, let's just multiply 5 times 6, which is equal to 30. The next thing that we have to do is count the number of negatives within the problem. And we have one negative. Because one is an odd number, our answer is going to be negative. So if you have an odd number of negatives within your problem, the answer is going to be negative. And if you have an even amount of negatives in the problem, your answer is going to become positive. So let's look at the second example. We have a negative times a positive. Because we only have one negative, which is an odd number, our answer should be negative. So let's just start by writing a negative right here and then multiply 4 times 12, which is 48. Now for this example, notice we have two negatives, negative 11 and negative 3. Because we have two negatives, which is an even number, the answer will be positive. So we know that our answer will be positive 33. Now let's look at some more examples. This time we are multiplying four numbers together. So let's just start by multiplying their absolute values. 12 times 2 is 24, 24 times 2 is 48, and 48 times 1 is still 48. Now let's count the amount of negatives within the problem. We have 1, 2, 3 negatives, which is an odd number. And if you have an odd number of negatives within the problem, your answer will be negative. Now for this example, we have 10 times 3, which is 30. 30 times 1 is also 30, and 30 times 2 is 60. And we have four negatives within the problem, which is an even number, which means our answer is going to be positive. So just remember, when you have an odd number of negatives within the problem, your answer will be negative, and when you have an even amount of negatives within the problem, your answer will be positive.